My name is Tom and let's get right into the news and we begin today with a few smaller bits of news The first one coming from that of the Yogg's Cast Jingle Jam And for those who don't know what that is during December the Yogg's Cast group tried to raise as much money as they can for a ton of charities And the best part about this is if you donate not only is all of your money going to charity But you get a ton of games as a reward for doing so The Yogg's Cast generally raise money into the millions every year and they've already done that this month so for anyone who's actually interested, there will be a link to the donate page at the top of the description. Then also following on, we got one from Twitch themselves with a lovely announcement. Anyone who streamed the Fortnite Nexus War event might want to remove it from their channels because they're at risk at receiving a DMCA takedown for music that was in the event. And lastly, in these smaller bits of news, we got one from the Spanish-speaking streamer Grefk, who has broken a new record on Twitch with a new peak viewership. Prior to now, the highest view account by a single streamer on Twitch was that of Ninja with 500 73,000 viewers. Well that has now been overtaken by Grefk streaming the Fortnite event to 639,000 viewers. Following on, we got one from the girl who can't seem to catch a break recently, Pokimane, who has been called out for stealing a song from Lil Boom and a dance moveset from Young Nib. This one refers to a TikTok Pokimane made well over a year ago. This was a recreation of a TikTok made by Young Nib, which ended up getting 18 million views. Shortly after that happened, Pokimane got her own dance in Fortnite and of course, made a lot of money off it. So here Lil Boom is not happy his song was used, which led to Pokimane getting her own Fortnite dance. and Young Nib is not happy because he believes his dance moves were used in the dance that was sold to Fortnite. These two have spoken to Dick Zerto, so quoting Lil Boom, he said, I personally felt as if she took the hype from the dance challenge to my song, Already Dead, to capitalize and profit by making her own version and selling it to Epic slash Fortnite. Prior to Lil Boom talking to Dick Zerto, he also spoke to Pokimane where we have a screenshot of a response from Pokey. After Lil Boom asked about the situation, Pokimane responded with, the song used in the Fortnite dance was completely completely made from scratch and the dance move she made herself, but as compensation she did offer to tag the original creator. Well Lil Boom believes Pokemon has been manipulative in DMs and he ended up tweeting, I was not even going to come public about this until they replied to my story, shrugging it off and literally being condescending. Gonna use all my power to spread this stuff. Pokemon has manipulative tactics. She stole my whole song and dance and manipulated me into shutting up. Lil Boom also says he asked for royalties for the money she made from the Fortnite dance and she offered a measly $500. So the real question here is, is the song stolen? Well, aside from Pokemon, it's also been used 1.4 million times on TikTok. And then on the other side, are the moves used in the Fortnite dance that Pokemon profited from stolen as well? Here is the comparison, and I guess I'll leave that one up to you. Then coming into the big one for this week, we've got quite a scary situation coming from that of the streamer Jay Kirky, where he had some intruders break into his house while he was live. There is a post on Reddit explaining this situation with the title UK streamer house broken into live threatened with machete and gun Jay Kirky's house was broken into while streaming Resident Evil as shown in the VOD The anonymous intruders were looking for someone else who lives in the building but got the wrong address During midstream Jay heard some noises and assumed it was the neighbor's apartment since he lives in a dodgy apartment complex Moments later it was much louder and was apparent it was his own apartment He decides to take a look and was confronted with a man in a balaclava breaking through his window. He attempts to go for the door to escape which results in two more people outside the door waiting for him. After a frightening confrontation where Jay was extremely distressed and ultimately a gun pointed at him threatening not to say a word to anyone and another one with a machete. The intruders realized it was the wrong flat and nor was he sheltering the person they were looking for. After some more dialogue they eventually leave with no harm done. Jay has been left extremely shook and thankful he is alive tonight. So of course this all happened live so we do have the moments leading up to and what went on in the back. Background. The clip begins with Jay hearing the intruders breaking into his house. Do you mean during the game? Sounds like someone's trying to break in. Into my next door I'll get this down. house. Hello? So I can't play this next part on YouTube, but Jay does go to investigate. You hear some more glass smashing. Then Jay runs for the door and the other two intruders stop him. Jay thinks he's being robbed, so he says they can take whatever they want, but they're looking for a specific person. And he pleads, saying that he's the only one in the apartment. They go to snoop around and the intruders threaten him before Jay returns to his stream. Okay, come on. 
Don't even come back. Don't even come back. Come back. Come back. Honestly, I'd have nothing to do with this. Yeah, yeah. Watching the rest of the VOD out, Jay ends up ending the stream and going to a family member's house. He also shows the damage done to the window that the intruders broke. So following on the Reddit post, it does state, other than that, he's in a safe place now and choosing his next options wisely, taking into consideration what the intruders know slash told him. So it's been quite a few days since this happened and I did reach out to Jay with a few questions where I asked, did he contact the police and did he return to the apartment? Jay responded, yeah, I'm perfectly safe now. My awesome family have taken me in. They insisted I stay here until I find and a new place to move into. No way I'm going back there. I did contact the police. I was in the station for a good four to five hours. They want a video statement tomorrow, which I'm nervous about, but I don't see much point to be quite honest. I doubt they can find any evidence at all. The forensics came and tried to find as much evidence as they could, so I couldn't pick up anything. Clothes, PCs, chargers, etc. They finished yesterday, so I went back to the apartment to pick up my necessities. When I went back, my neighbor's door was replaced with a wooden slab, so I guess they broke in there too. They've always given me grief. So Jay here ended up contacting the police, but as of right now, Jay is safe. And also for those who want to watch the full confrontation between Jay and the intruders, there will be a copy of that video in the Discord. Then also following on to Saturday, we have one from Twitch itself with the removal of the blind playthrough tag, which by definition states, it means you're playing a game without having any knowledge about it. You haven't watched any playthroughs, looked up strategies, or read any plot synopsis, etc. So on Twitch, this definition is used by streamers who don't want their chat telling them anything about the game they're playing. So here Twitch decided to remove this tag and we found out from the employee Aurelian when she tweeted happy to see Twitch has listened to everyone who shared feedback and removed the blind playthrough tag to encourage more inclusive language for our community you can still use first playthrough or opt to use it in a combination with no spoilers for the same sentiment so as stated in the tweet Twitch has removed the tag blind playthrough because it's offensive to blind people and here Aurelian is simply saying it's a good thing which although she thinks it's a good thing now let's go into some responses where the exact opposite can be seen the top response really this world needs a big ass reset. WTF is even coming at this point. Can we just ban everything so no one can get offended? Ban speedrun tags for peeps who are movement impaired then as well. That's how it sounds to me. This is so cringe I physically feel it. Holy F. There are also other responses along the same likes, one making the joke that, in that case then, the word Twitch is non-inclusive to epileptic people, and also offensive. Please change your website name. Maybe change it to Soy or Beta. This user then did a little research and found out that Aurelian had used this term blind playthrough in the past. And then one last stating that the term blind playthrough now has been removed, but the streamer Quinn has an emote called Quinn Blind. So should that be removed as well? Now, not every response here is negative, but the majority are. The streamer Technic had responded, I never thought of this, OMG, I will also be deleting my blind command also. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I really need to pay attention to my wordage. That was then of course hit with a lot of negative responses, a lot of people trolling. So that's why I pass this one off to you. Is the term blind playthrough offensive and needs to be removed from Twitch or not? Following on, we've got some DMCA news that has been going on throughout the week. First with one coming from that of the live stream program OBS who thanks to a new update to Twitch is soon going to allow streamers to stream two separate audio tracks, one used for the live content and the other used for the VOD saved to the Twitch server itself. The update on the OBS forum states, better support for Twitch VOD only audio tracks. Twitch recently released a feature that allows you to stream two separate audio feeds at the same time, one that gets streamed live and one that gets saved to the stream of your VOD, in case you wish for your VOD audio to be different from your live streamed audio. Although this seems like a great feature allowing streamers to play music knowing their their VODs can't be DMCA down, in reality the music is still played live, so although if utilised correctly will prevent streamers VODs being DMCA'd, this is going to annoy those record labels further. And that's what we follow on with some information from Jericho. Coming from the start of the week, as previously mentioned, these labels are not happy with Twitch and are going forward with additional systems to DMCA streamers, even when they're live. You've heard of the RIAA, which is the record labels lawyers, right? The NMPA is the publishing side. And they are very not happy with Twitch. They're not happy with the way that Twitch is handling copyrighted content. They're not happy with the way that Twitch is moving forward with copyrighted content. And as such, 
They have been working closely with a French company who I can't remember the name of, similar to the same program that Twitch uses, Audible Magic, which detects music that may be copyright and mutes it. The French companies is much better, much, much better, much more sophisticated, okay? They're working with that company and have virtually finished setting up live DMCA programs. So, there is now, very soon, a very real risk that, it, that you will be DMCA'd live while stream so as Jericho stated, these labels are working on live DMCA takedowns. So if that works out going forward, we're either going to see a lot more bans or streamers completely removing music from their streams. Also, as a bit of a ban update from three weeks ago, the channel Calcet received a suspension due to DMCA, which at the time seemed permanent. He tweeted out, banned on Twitch for over three weeks now for DMCA on a 2015 clip I deleted. No one is answering me. I sent an email with all the information they needed to DMCA Twitch, and they did didn't even read it. It's been two weeks. I even included a screenshot. Please help. The screenshot below shows Kalsap emailing a user at Twitch stating he took the required precaution of deleting all the clips and VODs, which the response from Twitch states, thank you for your email. To help us better assess your appeal, can you please provide additional information about what VODs you deleted, when you deleted them, and how you deleted them? So as stated in the tweet, even though Kalsap linked proof that the content was removed, the Twitch employee didn't even read it. And due to this tweet receiving a lot of traction, someone at Twitch finally got around to dealing with this ban, and as of the next day, Calcep has been unbanned. And for the last one for today, we got yet another piece of DMCA related news, this time from Tim the Tapman. A lot of users in every chat now let streamers know when they're listening to music that can potentially get them in trouble. Well, Tim has been on the platform for many years now, and this is something that has been brought up in his chat a lot. And so here, Tim has come out with his own view on all of this DMCA stuff, where he basically says he doesn't care. Tim, you're listening to it. Stop listening. Uh, bro, listen. Listen, man. If I get banned i'm 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 going to the beach literally i if i get banned, if I, i'm not gonna you know right i've been on this platform for eight years bro okay i've been listening to music pretty normally for about seven years and now all of a sudden they're like hey stop doing all that and bro it's just natural it's what i do if i get banned i'm banned bro whatever i'll invest my money i'm going to the beach you'll see me on the beach at the panhandle i'll have a straw hat on and a bud light seltzer in my hand that that's me and then five ten years from now they're gonna be like what happened to tim the tap man and then there's gonna be a fatter version of me that's walking around in a straw hat on the beach <laughs> any questions and that's where I'm going to end today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It really does help. I want to thank you all for watching as normal, and I hope to see you in the next one.